Welcome to a somber topic that we are discussing today, and this is child and women sexual abuse. We'll pay specific attention to the COVID-19 lockdown, and we will identify three things. Number one, children were in the safety of their homes, where it was the very close relatives and a safe neighborhood, there was no strangers, coming into the homes because everyone was asked to stay in their home. Why did child sexual abuse increase? Number two, who are these people that abuse our children? And number three, how can we prevent this? Okay, I was taught uh, a P1 class so many years back. And there was this child, there were many stories of child abuse, but this one touched me most. The parents were wealthy. The mother was a Dubai businesswoman. The father was a highly placed official in this government. And this child was being dropped at school in the most expensive cars uh, and everything went on well. Of course, a very good school, expensive cars, uh, dropped on time and picked on time. And so I looked at this child's behavior. The child behaved rather in a manner that was strange. Let me call it strange. At one time, this child would be very aggressive at another time, this child would be crying and vulnerable. At another time, this child would be depressed. And another time, this child would be hyperactive. And so I took interest. I wanted to know why this child behaves in such strange behaviors. Of course, it didn't come easy. The child didn't disclose to me what was happening in this child's life until I built the confidence that when this child was able to trust, to trust me, then she could open up. Now remember, this is a six-year-old in P1. And so the young girl told me, she said, you know, teacher Grace, every time uh, the driver is bringing me to school, he opens his zip and asks me to sit on his laps and he puts something in me. Sometimes it pains, sometimes it doesn't pain. I cried. I cried, I cried, I cried. And then I asked this child, why don't you tell your parents? And the young girl said, they will not believe me. That is the background I am coming from to share with you what we are talking about today. I'll ask you if it is your first time or you have not subscribed before, kindly subscribe and watch the video up to the end and share this video and like. As I give you this information, I will only ask you to help me out by watching up to the end and liking and subscribing and sharing. Back to our topic. The COVID-19 lockdown exposed everyone to the evil of child sexual abuse. Women, old women, are abused as well, but we will limit today's discussion to children, both boys and girls. What are the different manifestations of child abuse that you must teach your children to know? One, it comes through play. You, uh, the children can never detect the gravity of what they are going to experience because it is introduced in a manner that is so subtle. You know, an old person is playing around with his child, is showing pictures, starts with someone wearing a bra and a dress and then goes to someone wearing pajamas and goes to someone until they can finally bring out someone that is stuck 
naked. Now, when this is registered to the mind of your child gently, and they are able to absorb the shock gently, it is easy for these children to pick it up. And then they will touch playfully, they will introduce these words, the tough words of sexual abuse, emotional sexual abuse, physical sexual abuse, they will introduce it gently, gently, until this child can absorb everything. The little girl I told you about, she reached a level when her parents did not believe her. She decided to give in all the way. She gave in all the way. She convinced herself to enjoy it. And by the time I intervened, the child was destroyed. Of course, it took so much time and so much effort to rehabilitate this child and to build their confidence again. I must tell you that while we were in the lockdown in COVID, where so much of the child abuse happened, it was with the close family members. It was the brothers to these girls. It was the housemaids that abused the young boys. It was the uncles that abused the young girls. It was the fathers that had sexual knowledge of their own children. Now that is tragic. Men in their nature, they are tempted by looking. And so mothers would just let their girls move around in seductive clothes or these little girls stuck naked and they assumed everyone in the home is that good. But let me tell you, the brain of men works in strange ways. And so our children suffered. Who are the people who abuse? The close family members. The uncles, aunties, brothers, cousins. And so as parents, avoid having your little girls share rooms with the opposite sex. Avoid trusting the girls with their boys, with their brothers, with their uncles, the aunties, and the step parents. Avoid trusting your little girl, your little boys with a maid. They should not be sleeping with their sisters. They should not be sleeping in the same bed, in the same room with the opposite sex. That is one of the ways that we can stop it. And look out for the signs and symptoms of abuse against these children. They will be aggressive, they will be angry, they will be depressed, they will be hyperactive, they will know so much sexual information more than what they should be knowing at their age. Once you see such signs, it is a sign that your child is having someone lead them on. When these children talk that there is something happening, around their lives or if they in particular do not like a certain uncle or a certain auntie or a certain maid and they are crying when this person is coming around that is a wake-up call that something wrong is happening sexually and so listen to your children believe them don't fight immediately do research and find out what is happening and when you find out the truth, make sure the culprit is brought to book. That is the only way you can rehabilitate your child. Sexual abuse is a nightmare. When it happens to someone, don't make them feel that they deserved it or they did something that called for it or they could have prevented it. Believe them, help them, protect them in create a safe environment that your children will never experience such again. That is part one of our topic today about sexual abuse, the forms it comes in, the subtle way it comes in, 
and why the lockdown environment exposed the biggest culprit in child abuse. I thank you so much for watching and I'll ask you if it is your first time or you have not subscribed before, please subscribe. Help us to protect our children for good and our country. Thank you so much. See you another time. Bye for now.